Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and pray as we come to the Word of God here. Father, we're thankful for the day you've given to us, and Lord, we ask in these moments for your blessing and your help. Lord, it's our heart's desire that we would be uh, taught of thee today, and that you'd strengthen our hearts and, and cause us by thy grace uh, to live for thee. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles to Jeremiah chapter number four. Jeremiah chapter number four, the Lord, of course, he's, uh, he's talking about the sin of Israel. And uh, of course, it's a, a sad, miserable situation uh, in the land of Judah and Jerusalem. And he says in verse 22, he says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They have sottish children and they uh, have none understanding. Notice, we, then we see something in, uh, in verse 22. He says, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. They are wise to do, uh, to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. I think so oftentimes in life, is it's always easier to do the wrong thing than it is to do the right thing. It's always easier to live for the world than it is to live for God. It's always easier uh, to please our, our flesh than it is to please the Lord. However, though it's easier, the consequences of sin are far-reaching. Uh, church, I want to encourage you today to be, um, to be wise to do good, not wise to do evil. As a matter of fact, in, in the book of Romans, chapter 16 in verse number 19, we find, we find a similar statement uh, as Paul writes to the church in, uh, in Rome. He says in verse 19 of chapter 16, For your obedience has come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf. Notice, but he says, But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. Uh, church, that's, that's the desire of God. Let us, you know, we are wise to so many wicked things in the world today. We have access that is, that is, that is in a sense, it's unlimited access to whatever we want through the internet and, and different things. But, it, but may God help us be a people that, that know more about righteousness than they do about evil. You know, there are, I think it's, it's valid that we understand the wickedness of the world, but to not dabble in it. You know, there are, there are things that the world promotes as good and right and, and, and acceptable, but they're really wicked. What does the world do? The, the world has everything upside down. They call good e or evil good and good evil. But God, God's way is perfect. His word is right. His word is true, and truth never changes, even if it's inconvenient or unacceptable by the throngs of society. Nevertheless, as God's people, we must learn to embrace the truth. God indicts the nation or the people of Judah, saying, They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. They don't know how to do the right thing. I think we live in a society that is much like that. We've been taught uh, from the cradle to do wrong and we must be we must come full circle here and 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 teach people how to do right how to live for the lord will you learn will you purpose in your heart to learn to live the christian life will you learn to obey the word of god will you learn to please the lord with your life let us be simple concerning evil and wise to that which is good may the lord help us today let us Read the Word of God and do what it says. Let's pray. Father, we're thankful for the Word of God. And Lord, it is hard uh, to do the right thing uh, oftentimes, but by Thy grace we can. Lord, we can live for You. We can honor and glorify Christ. And Lord, that's the desire of our heart today, that You would strengthen and help us, Lord. That we would be wise to good and simple to evil. The nation of Judah, they had no knowledge uh, on how, of how to do what was right. More, Lord, may that not be the case of, uh, of us. May we be taught of Thee to live for Thee. Lord, help us live for Christ with simplicity and godly sincerity. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Well, thank you for being with us today. It's always an honor to have you. We're praying for you, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow at noon. Don't forget, at 1 o'clock today, in just a short short while, we'll, we're working again to finish the Vacation Bible School mailer that will be taken to the post office in the morning. So if you have a few minutes, come over, give us a hand. But uh, we're praying for you, and we'll see you soon. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.